Well, hi there. It's good to be back with you again this week. Here we are on the third week of Advent already. December is moving on through and 2022, it looks almost over. It's hard to believe, really. I think I'm still occasionally writing a different year. <laughs> and here we are. I'm going to have to get used to writing 2023 soon. Well, third Sunday in Advent means we're looking at joy. What brings you joy? That's a question that you could hear on TV quite often, or maybe you've been reading it in articles or, or magazines or even online. What brings you joy? Well, there was a book that was talking about sparking joy. And if you're missing joy in your life, maybe that's the book that uh, people were being encouraged to read. And it's written by Marie Kondo. And she wants you to declutter your space or set up your space so that you experience joy and it'll spark joy in you. And how do you do that? Well, you pick up something that's near you that has, is sitting there, whether it's out of place or in place or whatever, and you consider it. And if it brings you happy, joy or happiness or makes you feel good, then you keep it. If not, out it goes. It should go out of your space. Well, I think that would work with all of the things that we have in our lives uh, that we could declutter a little and we could get ourselves organized and we could feel more at peace and at rest and sense of calm because our actual physical space is not so cluttered and full. But I'm not thinking that that is really what joy is all about because they seem that seems very temporal, doesn't it? And it's, things don't really bring us joy. I think they'll make us happy in the moment. And yes, they can make us calm and content um, and bring pleasure perhaps, but I'm not sure that they really spark joy. So what is joy then? I think joy is on the inside. It is something that uh, comes along with a sense of contentment, uh, a sense of hope. I think often in the Bible when it speaks of joy, it's connected with the word hope. Well, a scripture that we know uh, this time of year is often read out of Luke or Matthew is in found in the Christmas story and it talks about when the angels are visiting the shepherds and it says that, behold, we bring you great news. Actually, we bring you good news of great joy, which will be to all people. I often hear that, and every time I hear that, and every time I read that, and I'm not really a good English major, I'm sure some people who are really into language would understand what is the actual subject of that line and what applies to what, but really is it saying that the good news will be for all people, or is it saying that the joy will be for all people? Well. I'm interpreting in it, interpreting it that the great, the good news is great joy to all people. It's the news that it's bringing joy to all people. So everyone is going to experience joy because of the good news. And what was the good news that they were talking about? That was that a savior had been born in Bethlehem, the savior of all humankind, the Messiah who had long been prophesied hundreds of years back in Isaiah it had been prophesied actually if you really think about it it's all the way back to Genesis that it, it had been talked about that a Messiah would come to save the people from their sins that should bring you joy the hope that you can have, that you do not have to struggle through this world alone, that there is a point, there is a purpose, there is an eternity, something after this temporal life that we lead. And that solely is found in Jesus. God, through his son, gave such a great gift at Christmas. He gave the gift of peace and hope that we've already talked about. And because we have that hope, we can have joy. We can have a sense of wonder and awe and uh, an internal longing um, that we will have in eternity with God. There is hope on the horizon. It is not all doomsday and death and destruction. Our God is big. He is good. He is faithful. And his gift to us of his son is just the perfect gift. And it gives us great joy. 
I think this world isn't always giving us joy. When you turn on the news, or maybe in relationships, or maybe at work or at school, things are difficult. But we can turn our eyes and focus on God, for He has given us great joy. We can find our internal joy in Him as He resides in us. That will be a place where joy resides. And then it doesn't really matter what's going on in the outside around us. We can still have joy. So I wish you joy today. Maybe wish isn't, maybe you don't like that word, but I really hope and pray for joy for you today. That in that Christmas carol, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart receive him now, right? And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Repeat the sounding joy, the chorus also says. Repeat the sounding joy. Let us tell others of what happened on that night so long ago that we, that set in motion joy being burst into the world, that we can have joy, that we might repeat that ever sounding joy that Jesus is our Savior and Messiah. I pray that you find joy this week. May God bless you. And we'll talk to you next time.